Hi, I'm Jeff. I'm Andrew. And we're here to talk about Legends of Runeterra, the new strategy card game set in the League of Legends universe. We're working to get Legends of Runeterra on both PC and mobile in the first half of 2020, and it's shaping up to be a big first year. Today, we're gonna share a look at what's coming and why you can get as excited as this little guy. Oh. At the end of 2019, we previewed Legends of Runeterra with a limited time, hands-on experience. Over the 10 days that the game was live, we introduced the core gameplay and debuted our take on a draft mode, Expeditions. Tons of you pre-registered, way more than we could give access to all at once, and we know that many more of you are still waiting for your chance to get in the game. Our original plan was to continue rolling out invites for closed beta as we got key features ready for prime time, but we've heard your feedback, and it's clear. The best thing we could do was just release the game to everyone. So we hit the gas to make as much progress as possible in the past few weeks. Now, the wait is almost over. We're headed to open beta. Starting January 24th. Everyone who wants to play Legends of Runeterra will have full access. Thank you all so much for bearing with us while we get Legends of Runeterra ready for millions of players. We can't wait to get the rest of you in here. Let's check out some of the features you can expect to see when you log in and where we plan to take them in the future. Our goal from the start was to create a card game with enough strategic depth and interaction to support skilled competition. Now it's time to see where you stand amongst the best players in Runeterra. Ranked will be live in the beta. You'll see some similarities to League, like earning LP to advance through divisions and climbing from iron all the way to master. But we've also made some changes based on Legends of Runeterra's one-on-one -on -one ranked experience. For example, one problem we've seen in card games is that you can feel like you're locked into playing a proven meta deck if you want to climb, versus trying different strategies to get to the top. We want you to be able to test different competitive decks without sacrificing progress. So when you reach a tier in Legends of Runeterra, you'll hold that rank for the rest of the season. You earned it. Your rise to the ranks starts with the beta season, which will last until launch. You can expect seasons and balance updates that reduce the grind while making the competitive meta more dynamic. Ranked is a key element of the Legends of Runeterra experience, but it's not the only thing we're working on. For us, one of the best parts about playing a physical card game is a sense of community and great shared memories that come from playing at a table with friends, which has been sort of lost in the transition online. While many of you will have a blast playing Legends of Runeterra solo, we also want to make it awesome to play with friends. So, in addition to Ranked, the beta will also have a friend challenge feature. As part of Legends of Runeterra's new social panel, you'll be able to directly challenge anyone on your list to a game. All of your friends from League will already be there. Yep, all of them, every single one. Going forward, you can expect more features like this to support the social side of Legends of Runeterra and even bigger things in the future. We're committed to making it the best card game out there, whether you're playing solo or with friends. But even solo players will always have a buddy by their side. League has a long tradition of making gameplay totally free by offering paid cosmetic items that let you personalize your experience. Likewise, our goal on Legends of Runeterra is to make a game where how much you spend does not determine how much you win. Since we got rid of paying for randomized packs and made getting cards accessible for every player, that means we're doubling down on optional paid personalization. Our bet is that you'd rather buy a T-Hex or Curse Runes than a randomized card pack. We believe direct access to gameplay and a ton of ways to personalize it is ultimately way more fun and a better experience. In the beta, there are three new guardians, Snapper, Gromp Jr., and T-Hex. And a board for each region of Runeterra, complete with unique region-specific theme music. And that's just a handful of the huge variety of options you'll be able to choose from in the future. We're talking all kinds of guardians to cheer you to victory, different styles of boards that let your opponents know exactly who they're facing, and emotes to capture that feeling when you get hard denied by your opponent and outplay them anyway. These guardians, boards, and emotes aren't the only things we have planned. We're exploring more ways for you to personalize your gameplay and tie-ins with expansions to the core game. Speaking of expansions, we can't leave out the obvious, new cards. Over the next 12 months, we'll release multiple sets that each add a new region to the game. 
highlighting different parts of Runeterra and bringing fresh mechanics to the meta. Every set will also add new champions to all the other regions. These champs are designed to connect the new region with the previous ones. You'll see some popular picks from each region, but you may be pleasantly surprised by some of the other champs joining the Legends of Runeterra roster this year. There are no more resets from this point on, so now is the perfect time to start building your collection before the new region and champions arrive. You decide what to unlock first and what you'll play in the first Legends of Runeterra meta. We seriously cannot wait to share more about what's next, but in the meantime, we hope this preview got you as excited as we are for 2020. Between the card expansions, guardians, boards, social features, ranked, and more, there's so much coming to Legends of Runeterra this year. Be there when it all begins. Starting January 24th. Thanks for watching and see you soon.